Okay, now the moment I put the catalyst in here, this will turn black. Okay, now you can hear also the rock sticky. Now, this is agitation, this is like the paddle machine. So all I'm doing is agitating. Now you can hear the rock is free. It's stripping the oil off. So all I'm doing is agitating. This is done commercially in a mechanical machine. Okay, I'll give it two washes. This is what we started with. That's the oil coming off the cutting. And you'll see before I even open up the container, can you see how clean some of the rock is? Okay. See it was jet black before? So it was this. Okay, so this is just a quick wash. Okay. But you said it's three seconds. You are no, but on a mechanical, what you're trying to do is. This 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 Uh -huh. What I'm doing is this is all stuck together like tar. Uh -huh. If I don't shake it, I won't break up the oil out of the rock for okay. it to free itself up. Okay. And this is done in a mechanical process. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is pour off. now is I'm pouring off the liquid which is the oil in the catalyst. I'm going to show you initially what the rock looks like and I'm going to give it a second wash. Okay. So I just want you to see initially. Okay. Now you can see even down to the sub-micron there's all the small pieces of sand and gravel. Okay. I'm just going to put it in for a second and wash because that's what's done. But you can see this one already is clean. Oh, right. Yes. And you can see how fast it evaporates, the rock dries up. I just put a fraction more in, and again, you'll see the color this time won't be as dark because we've already removed a lot of the oil. But you can also see on the side of the glassware, see all the sub micron. Particles. That's powder. That's rock powder. Okay. So you can see it's not. It's not. The two are not as dark. So most of the oil was taken out in the first wash. You want to take the most oil from the rock. That's how. Because. So you can see as it pours out this time, it's a lot lighter. And all that was was just a quick shake. And you can see if you take this because you don't have gloves on, pick that up with your hand, rub it. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. There's no oil on the rock cutting. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
他刚才演示了那个整个那个流水线是怎么做的，嗯，都有怎么倒进去，上头一层水，怎么底下人流分离什么之类的。他这成本是一吨处理，你得问他的，得问问他。你给我处理一吨有有多少钱？对啊，你国家有点钱，对啊，五百成，那咱就挣七百块钱，对啊，这个暴利是。这合同不好拿，不好拿，但关键他解决问题就行。解决问题，好多方法，都是哎呀，都是从上面下去。是吧？啊、嗯，那、嗯、没事儿，可以有办法。对，我们一点点做。对。Test number two is Suncor Canada. So all I have is the material. 对。他现在是演示另外一个，这个是那个加拿大给他的，给他的那个油砂。油砂。油砂。油砂。油砂，刚才是用污染污染的那个东西。When I'm pouring the catalyst in, do not be put off with the volume of catalyst, because in there's no mechanical process here. So I have to get the catalyst to strip the oil off and break up the sand. I'm not shaking it. I'm not vibrating it. I'm not heating it. So it'll look as though I'm using a lot of catalyst, but the catalyst is in a closed loop cycle, and I get it all back again. And this is just a verbal, small demonstration when it's used in the mechanical one time. More efficient. Okay, so I'm going to wash it three times, but the reality is when you see the commercial machine, it's one time. And that's what the virgin catalyst looks like. It just looks like gin. Or sake. I promised you the oil will come out in three seconds. Okay. So you count out loud when you see the catalyst hit there. I said three seconds. So you count when it that gets wet. Count three. You can put this in there. Three minutes. One, two, three. So the oil was out on two. Okay, now, what we're showing already is the sand is starting to break down. Okay, and you'll start to see some clean sand. Immediately you're seeing that the oil is coming out with the catalyst, and it flows like diesel. So oil sands is very heavy and sticky. What when you see the bubbles, that's the air coming out. The air is trapped on the sand. It's been there for millions of years. Okay. Bubbles, it's air, air, air bubbles. Air bubbles, not, not the, not the gas. No, no, man. no, man. this is no man. Okay. Here, can I get one set, no man. And we'll show you how we get all the catalysts back in just a second. So these bubbles you see, that's the catalyst breaking the oil off, and you'll start to see the sand now 
the sand is now down here. Mm -hmm. If you look at the side, how clean the sand is. So if you look as a comparison. Yes. And you also notice that the catalyst now is much lighter. Mm -hmm. You can almost yeah. see through it. Yes. So we're almost got all the oil now. The sand now is all broken down. There's a, just a couple of pieces of uh, oil sands just on the top because I changed the stainless steel. I don't have it smooth on the surface, so it's not a perfect seal. Mm -hmm. So some of the sand is getting down. But you can see how almost how clear the catalyst is, and all the sand is down here. Mm -hmm. Now we haven't agitated, we haven't touched it yet. It's able to break all the oil off and break all the sand particles apart. Okay. I'm going to show you how we recover the catalyst now and leave you pure oil. I'm just going to let this dry for a moment. Now, you'll also notice that the glassware is nice and clean. Yeah, if you know anything about the oil sands in Canada, everything is very sticky. It mm -hmm. sticks to everything. Okay. So this is the chiller. Condensate, LC. Because what we're going to do is heat it up and vapor off the catalyst and leave you the oil. Okay, so what we do now is we put a stopper in here. Put this onto the hot plate. I'm just, I'm just going to show you that right now. So, the hot plate is 196, but it's not the hot plate, it's the temperature of the catalyst. Okay? So, the catalyst is now at room temperature is 30 uh, Celsius. 34, 35. So, this is almost 200 here. Okay. So that's just water. Mm -hmm. so what, what you're going to see just now, this is the catalyst evaporating. And you're going to see the catalyst come up and condense here in just a minute. <laughs> Okay, so the catalyst is flashing off, yes. coming up as a vapor, mm -hmm. condensing because the ice, we are at 8 degrees. So how long will it take to vaporize all the uh, catalyst? 3-4 minutes. 3-4 minutes. Well, then how long should it be? And you can see that the catalyst is it's not saturated, yes. but it can hold a lot more oil. Mm -hmm. But I had to pour it through to pull the oil off of the sand because I didn't touch the sand. No, 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 no movement, no, movement, no agitation. agitation. But you can see to start the catalyst is pure. And this will flow up and flow into here, and then we'll compare the color of the two. And I can do this a thousand times. The same catalyst, never wear it out, never stops working every single day. Not limited by 200 times? Nope. <laughs> this is all depend, all depend on the natural evaporation. Yeah. Now, we have 0.3% loss in a commercial 
which means that's why we say 300 times, because you lose a third times 100, 300 times. Probably better than that. Turn one, turn one. Have really not, sir. See the purity of the cat? If you look very closely, you will see a couple of water molecules on the top. The water is sitting on top. And that's the water molecule that was in the sand. Because we've got this at 180 degrees, you get a small amount of moisture coming over. So the sand, this sun core has, has water. But if you can translate for me, it will not bond. So the water will not bond. So if we compare, Small evaporation. Yes. That's a little Yeah. And that's why there's a water cap. Water cap to prevent the evaporation. But if some release into the atmosphere, is that any problem? No.其实你现在可以在国内做一个什么大学生中上的学生不是中石油还有好多这种它也是花钱买的一个要求越来越高它这个废弃的这个油污的这种东西没办法处理是所以现在我我给它处理它要给我一吨一千二嘛就是一千多
，每个是无油泥，这个这个这个这个称过了，处理过了。嗯，这是是矿砂还是油泥？油泥的，这是矿矿砂，这矿砂啊，这个矿砂，嗯，这是矿砂。这就是第一次。你这样，你刚才跟我说的是，你能给我做成一个，就是中式的，能够移动的，是一个把把它放在那个大卡车的，像集装箱似的，我先带着走。对。然后到现场。可以，因为这个东西，它中式油那些东西啊，它这一堆，那一堆。对对对。你就得去放在那跟厂去做处理。我那个朋友做的超声波的，他的超声波原理也非常厉害，他要大功率超声波，世界最高的超声波工，哈工大教授研究。他第一个是叫采油，怎么采油呢？那个油是那个哦，容易堵死嘛。然后现在的那个油水混合的，往里头往里头注那个那个采油剂，就什么三聚啊、聚合物啊。堵死以后呢，它是它第一个应用呢是做成这么粗，然后变成那个超声波发生器，顺着那个采油管下去，它得准确定位到油层。要你远的没？到油层以后释放大功率的超声波。就跟人，超市可以碎石嘛，把那个油层里的那个油和那个油跟那个石油层，它就